Hey lovelies. It's been a minute since I did a live video and I actually was just, I've been thinking about doing one for the last couple of days, but I was actually just listening to a message I got from a friend who's gone through a lot. And she was just saying, I don't feel, I just, I don't feel like I can keep going. I'm exhausted. I don't feel, I don't feel well. I feel sick and fluey and no, I don't think she has COVID or anything. Um, and she was just like, this is just, it's a, it's a full-time job. The, the kids appointments and the, the paperwork and the legal stuff and the, the therapy appointments and trying to make sure that I'm safe and that my kids are safe. And she's just like, I just, how do you do it? And she's like, and you had cancer. How did you do it? And, um, and I kind of chuckled because I did it just like each of you does it. When you feel like you cannot, you cannot keep going, you keep going. You don't give up. You look at your babies in the face and you say, I love you too much to give up. And you just keep doing the next right thing. You don't have to do all the right things. You don't have to do all the stuff. You just have to do the next right thing. Sometimes the next right thing is taking a nap so that you don't go crazy. Sometimes the next right thing is calling your lawyer. Sometimes the next right thing is calling a therapist. Sometimes the next right thing is sending a prayer request to someone you trust. Sometimes the next right thing is just making mac and cheese. Even if you have always been the organic, made from scratch, all your baby food, everything by hand kind of mama. Sometimes the next right thing is to sit on the floor and open a coloring book and just look at your kids and remember the moment. But when you feel like you cannot get your booty up and keep going, remember that this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. It's an ultra marathon. And sometimes you have to pace yourself. You have to just stop and take a breather. You have to pull over and change shoes. You have to take a water break, take a nap break, take a hot bath break. And then you just do the next right thing, whatever that is. And it takes a lot of prayer and sometimes a lot of mumbling and grumbling and groaning and moaning to God and hoping he can translate what gets lost in translation because you don't have the words for it. And it takes a lot of grace to yourself to remember that, you know what, it's, it's okay to not have all the answers and it's okay to not know all the things and it's okay to not have a plan. If you're like me and you like to have all your ducks in a row and if you're really like me, you weren't the kind of person who just had your ducks in a row. You had them in a row, organized by height, color coded, and then like tagged by ISBN number, like library taxonomy. You, you got the stuff, girl. You got the lists, you got the plans, you got the strategies, you got the, the plan D and the plan Z for the plan, plan B and all of those things. And there comes this point when you realize, I can't do all the things. And it's okay that I can't do all the things. And then you start on things that don't really matter to lower your expectations and stop kicking yourself for not being perfect. And it's a good thing. It's a healing and healthy thing. <laughs> I see all your ducks. Yep, Lisa, I see all your ducks and then fire and then bombs because you know what? Sometimes our ducks escape all our little lined up color-coded rows tagged by ISBN number and they are like 
squirrels on crack at a rave. That happens sometimes. It happens when you're like thinking, oh, I got to do this and this and this. And then I, I'm going to have a, I got a meeting and I got things planned and it's been a quiet morning. And then all of a sudden the eggs get dropped and there's stuff to clean up off the floor. And somebody like hurts themselves and somebody else is crying and the ducks are gone. And now we got squirrels like, just like wigged out at a rave. Ah! That's okay. It's really okay. And <laughs> yeah, I know. That's like my squirrels are on. I don't have ducks in a row. I have squirrels on crack at a rave. Yes, Heather, I'm glad that made you laugh. But I just want you to know that it happens to you and it happens to me and it happens to the dozens or hundreds or thousands of women and mamas watching this. It happens to all of the thousand plus women in our Trauma Mamas group. It happens to every single one of us and it's okay. It's okay to just do the next right thing and let go of the plan and trust that if you keep doing the next right thing, the next godly step, the next honest thing, the next caring and loving thing, the next firm boundary that is the right thing, if you keep doing that, it will, the Red Sea will part. At some point, the Red Sea will part. And maybe, if we stick with it long enough, we will see the Red Sea close over Pharaoh and all of the Egyptian army. And it may not happen yet, and it may not happen for a while, but it is okay for you to just do the next right thing and then take a nap. It's okay. You have my permission, you have God's permission, you have everybody else's permission who's watching here. Not that you need any of our permission, but just do the next right.